We're in beautiful Vale Village. Hi, I'm Barrett Christie, and you're watching The Light. Oh, and I'm a snowboarder, too. I moved here because I wanted to learn how to ride pipes and parks, and I've stayed because I like being in the mountains and at the hill because then I'm way more motivated to go snowboarding than if I had to drive a couple hours. Even when the snow isn't good, there's fun stuff to do here. See, there it goes. Yoga for Athletes Fitness Studio. I like to mountain bike and I try to surf. I like to swim and play tennis and do yoga and stretch a lot. I don't really follow a strict workout routine, but I think that as often as I can, I do other activities that keep me in shape. One of the best bear stories I certainly can't say on camera. The one where the lighter flame was too big and you melted your contact out of your eye. <laughs> Megan's one of my best friends, and I guess you can say she's competition, but we're all doing our own runs and have our own things that we're working on, so the competition is more within ourselves, I think. Every once in a while you get bitter skiers that get mad at snowboarders for going faster. You know, if we're out of control, they should be bummed. But I've had a friend, several friends die from negligence on the slopes and you know, it's, it's very serious. You gotta, and it's not always your fault. It could be just somebody around you that's out of control and you really gotta just keep your eyes open and slow down and be aware that not everybody around you knows what they're doing. I think I rode this board at the um, first X Games. Okay, now this is a trip. Got my name on the box. That's <laughs> I don't know when I became professional, really. It just kind of happened over time. Even after I'd been riding for years, I don't think I had my sights set on being a pro snowboarder. We're at Polar Revolution. They're gonna tune up my board for me since I rode around a bunch of rocks last week. What was it like being the on the first snowboarding Olympics team. It was crazy. You know, I think the highlight was making the team and actually, you know, getting through the qualifiers and being announced part of the team. And then it was kind of overwhelming, but once we got there and got to ride, it was a really fun pipe. <laughs> I just want to go ride the half pipe. There's a lot of good riders and there's a lot more now competing for that sponsorship too. And there's a lot of people who just ride in half pipe and just focus on half pipe events and I'm not one of those people. I think there's so much more to the sport and I like to do all of it so I'll try to stay up on the pipe as much as I can. Not on a team, I'm just my own person. That's the cool thing about snowboarding, it's not a team sport. It's not about trying to be exactly like this person and trying to follow this routine. It's everybody just kind of wings it and that's what I like about it. think about it, it kind of blows me away. I, I feel very fortunate and I think, I mean, I have faith that, you know, whatever, whatever you put your mind to and really put your heart and soul into, it's bound to work out for the best. And in this case, it worked out pretty good. Making me nervous. <laughs>
This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com.